Top of the morning to you. The name's Jack O'Lantern. And today, I'll be showing you how to carve a pumpkin three ways. Oh, I had a splitting headache. How about you? Shall we begin with the easy pumpkin? <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna keep this pumpkin fairly traditional and with a little twist. Now I'm just using a Sharpie to mark out my lines to draw this and I'll show you how you can clean that up later. If you try to use a pencil, it's really hard to see. Now one thing I do, I like to cut out the main parts of the pumpkin using one of these safety cutters because honestly, it's actually easier to use than it is a knife. Now I'm just gonna wipe off the excess marks that I left on here with some acetone. When you get done using an acetone rag, make sure that you soak it with water and set it somewhere where there's no fire hazard. So here's our completed easy pumpkin, but let's take it up a notch with some smoke bombs. Let's try two different colors, black and green. I always put a notch when I cut the top out, even though you don't have to do that. That way when you put the top back on, it just goes boop, right into the exact spot every time. I believe we've got some still attached there. Oh, let me hold your mind. Oh, you got it, there you go. Ooh, the brains. And now, let us begin the medium pumpkin. Now I want this pumpkin to be, oh how shall I say, a little more lighthearted. So I'm gonna give him a huge smile and some smaller eyes. Now he's gonna need some ginormous teeth to make this work. Now to shape these teeth, what I found works best is using clay sculpting tools, especially, uh, especially, especially for scraping off the surface of the skin. Now my little friend here, he can eat corn on the cob through a picket fence. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna help him out, all right? I'm just using a piece of 3 16 round bar uh, to try and shape this around the curve of the teeth of the jack-o'-lantern and then I'm going to cut this with my uh, cutoff wheel. Listen <laughs> <laughs> folks, whenever you cut something like a piece of metal, don't touch the end of it, cause it's hot and it will burn you. It's bad, it ain't no bueno. All right, don't do it. I just did it, it hurt. All right, don't you worry, little buddy. We're gonna get you straightened out. For the brackets, I actually found these wire holders 
in the electrical section at my local hardware store. After further inspection, I decided that these teeth were actually rotten and actually I thought it popped more without those teeth there. Madison, are you ready for your reveal? Yes. Go! Ooh, spooky. 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 What's the other side? Show? <laughs> Rip. Cameron, are you ready for your reveal? Reveal! <gasps> Creepy. And both happy at the same time. Rip. Riley, are you ready for your reveal? Yes. Reveal. Who? Who? I don't know. That's the remaining question. Nobody knows. Who? 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 Yes. And um, that's lovely just because. <laughs> it's lovely. And now for the most difficult of them all. The evil eye. <laughs> After using the clay shaping tools, I found that using a rasp worked best for rounding over what will be the eyelid on this pumpkin, uh, and it really helped give it that final smooth round shape that I was going after. So I looked all over and I couldn't find any giant sized pumpkins, so I had to work with what I had because I would have loved, I mean loved, to have used a white pumpkin for the eyeball, but this was, you know, about the smallest white pumpkin I could find and it's too big for that. So, as you have previously seen, yeah, I know I blew it. This is the, what's gonna be the eyeball is this small, regular pumpkin. I'm gonna paint this with acrylic paint and uh, let's get going. Oh yeah, didn't really, I just like making that noise. Two coats for good measure and do try to keep your pinkies up. After all, we're not heathens, are we? For the iris, I'm going to be using some of this extreme sheen acrylic paint. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, we'll see. That is lovely. That is lovely. Never hurts to add a little bit of glitter. See, I also added a uh, fake shine to the eyeball because that kind of, if you're ever painting an eyeball or drawing an eyeball, if you can't get a natural shine, which hopefully this will, if you paint a false uh, shine, that's what gives it life. Life. When I put this eyeball in here, it's just going to roll around. I don't really know how to stop it other than I'm going to try to put this, uh, these two pieces of plywood in there and see if they will hold it. Ooh, look, I could actually leave it like that. Ooh, that's wild. Oh, that. I mean, there it is deep in there, but actually, I think it's kind of cool. Squeezing it like that, bulging. That's disgusting. Okay, all right. But that's not quite gross enough. So, 
Uh, we're going to hold that eye open with some staples, and I'm going to make them staples by cutting them out of this aluminum flat bar. And I do hope this is aluminum because I'm going to cut it on my saw. And if it ain't aluminum, well, it's about to get interesting. Put the stopples. You got all these stopples? Let's put all the stopples in. Because we've got to hold back the flesh, the pumpkin flesh, to keep the eyeball open. I'm gonna use this Crayola Model Magic air dry clay and I'm gonna make some horns for this pumpkin so that we can go ahead and, you know, give it the full Mike Wazowski look. If you can find an old toothbrush, it works perfect for giving these speckles. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an old one, so I just had to use Kim's. Hopefully by the time I use that white paint, she won't notice though. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with all your friends. And if you want to feed a Haxman child and buy some Haxman merchandise, go to thehaxman.com and I'll see you next time.